Hello everyone, I'm Master Walter and welcome to Marybeth Education Center Mathematics Online Class. Our lesson is all about squares and square root. So what is squares? Squares means any number multiplied by itself. Let's proceed to this question. So the question is, which of the following equation is incorrect? Letter A, the square of 1 over 5 is 1 over 25. In letter B, the square of negative 0 0.7 is negative 0 0.49. In letter C, the square of 2 is 4. In letter D, the square of 1 and 2 over 3 is 25 over 9. Let's see the solution. So in letter A, the square of 1 over 5 is 1 over 5 times 1 over 5, which is equal to 1 over 25. So, Letter A is a correct equation. In letter B, the square of negative 0 0.7 is the quantity of negative 0 0.7 times the quantity of negative 0 0.7, which is equal to 0 0.49. So letter B is not a correct equation. In letter C, the square of 2 is 2 times 2, which is equal to 4. So letter C is a correct equation. In letter D, the square of 1 and 2 over 3. So we can change 1 and 2 over 3 into improper fraction by multiplying the denominator 3 to the whole number 1, then plus the numerator. So this will be equal to 5 over 3. So that will be 5 over 3 times 5 over 3 is equal to 25 over 9. So letter D is a correct equation. So the answer is letter B. Let's continue our lesson about the squares. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So let's talk about perfect square. So perfect square is equal to whole number multiplied by itself. We could write it on the equation n times n is equal to n raised to 2 if n is a number. So let's answer this question. The question is, which of the following equations is correct? Letter A, quantity of negative 2 over 7 raised to 2 is equal to to negative 4 over 49. Letter B, negative quantity of 0 0.4 raised to 2 is equal to 0 0.16. Letter C, 3 raised to 2 is equal to 6. Letter D, negative quantity of 1 and 1 over 3 raised to 2 is equal to negative 16 over 9. Let's see the solution. So in letter A, quantity of negative 2 over 7 raised to 2 is equal to the quantity of negative 2 over 7 times the quantity of negative 2 over 7 is equal to 4 over 49. So letter A is not a correct equation. 
in letter B, negative quantity of 0 0.4 raised to 2 is equal to negative quantity of 0 0.4 times 0 0.4 is equal to negative 0 0.16. So letter B is also not a correct equation. In letter C, 3 raised to 2 is equal to 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. So letter C is also not a correct equation. In letter D, negative quantity of 1 and 1 over 3 raised to 2 is equal to negative quantity of 4 over 3 times 4 over 3 is equal to negative 16 over 9. So letter D is a correct equation. Therefore, the correct answer is letter D. So let's continue our lesson. Let's now talk about square root. So in square root, we have to remember the important function. So this is a square root sign. In square root, we have positive root and negative root. So in positive root, square root of A is a positive square root of A. In a negative root, negative square root of A is a negative square root of A because the quantity of square root of A raised to 2 is equal to A. And the quantity of negative square root of A raised to 2 is also equal to A. So let's go now for the rules for square root. So here are the rules. So square root of x square is equal to absolute value of x. For example, Square root of 3 square is equal to absolute value of 3 is equal to 3. And also, the quantity of square root of x raised to 2 is equal to x. For example, the quantity of square root of 5 raised to 2 is equal to 5. And also, square root of x times the square root of y is equal to to the square root of xy. For example, square root of 3 times the square root of 12 is equal to square root of 36 is equal to 6. And also, square root of x over y is equal to the square root of x over the square root of y. For example, square root of 24 over square root of 6 is equal to square root of 24 over 6 is equal to square root of 4 is equal to 2. So let's answer this question. The question is, which one is equal to square root of 100, a raised to 12, b raised to 16, c raised to 4? Letter A, 10, a raised to 12, b raised to 16, c raised to 2. Letter b, 100, a raised to 6, b raised to 8, c raised to 2. Letter c, 10, a raised to 6, b raised to 8, c raised to 2. And letter d, 10, square root of a raised to 12, b raised to 16, c raised to 4. Let's see the solution. So square root of 100, a raised to 12, b raised to 16, c raised to 4, is equal to square root of open parenthesis, 10, a raised to 6, b raised to 8, c raised to 2, close parenthesis, raised to 2, which is equal to absolute value of 10, a raised to 6, b raised to 8, c raised to 2.
because we could cut the square root and the square. So the answer will be 10 a raised to 6 b raised to 8 c raised to 2. So the correct answer is letter C. Let's answer another question. The question is, which one is equal to quantity of square root of 2 times square root of 5 raised to 2? Letter A, square root of 2 times square root of 5. Letter B, square root of 5. Letter C, square root of 10. And letter D, 10. Let's see the solution. So the quantity of square root of 2 times square root of 5 raised to 2 is equal to quantity of square root of 2 times square root of 5 multiplied by the quantity of square root of 2 times square root of 5, which is equal to square root of 2 times square root of 5 times square root of 2 times square root of 5, which is also equal to square root of 2 times 2 times square root of 5 times 5, which is equal to square root of 2 raised to 2 times square root of 5 raised to 2. So we could cut the square root and the square for both numbers. So the answer will be 2 times 5, which is equal to 10. So the answer is letter D. So let's proceed to this question. The question is, which one is square root of 15,000? 129. Letter A, positive and negative square root of 123. Letter B, positive negative 123. Letter C, negative 123. Letter D, 123. Let's see the solution. So find the square root of 15,000 129. Since 123 square is equal to 15,129 and the quantity of negative 123 raised to 2 is equal to 15,129, then square root of 15,129 is equal to 100. 23 and square root of 15,129 is also equal to negative 123. So square root of 15,129 is equal to positive and negative 123. So the answer is letter B. Okay, let's proceed now to our next topic. So our next lesson is all about cubes and cube root. So let's talk about cubes first. So what is cubes? Cubes is any number multiplied by itself twice. So let's proceed to this question. The question is, which of the following equations is correct? Letter A, the cube of 2 is 4. Letter B, the cube of negative 4 is 64. Letter C, the cube of 1 over 5 is 1 over 25. And letter D, the cube of 0 0.5 is 0 0.125. Let's see the solution. In letter A, the cube of 2 is 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. 
So letter A is not a correct equation. In letter B, the cube of negative 4 is the quantity of negative 4 times the quantity of negative 4 times the quantity of negative 4, which is equal to negative 64. So letter B is not a correct equation also. In letter C, the cube of 1 over 5 is 1 over 5 times 1 over 5 times 1 over 5, which is equal to 1 over 125. So letter C is also not a correct equation. In letter D, the cube of 0 0.5 is 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, which is equal to 0 0.125. So letter D is a correct equation. So the answer is letter D. So let's continue our lesson about cubes. So 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. So that is a perfect cube. So what is a perfect cube? Perfect cubes is equal to whole number multiplied by itself twice. So we could write the equation for cubes as n times n times n, which is equal to n raised to 3, if n is a number. So let's proceed to this question. So the question is, which of the following equations is incorrect? Letter A, 5 raised to 3 is equal to 125. Letter B, the quantity of 0 0.7 raised to 3 is equal to 0 0.343. Letter C, quantity of negative 3 over 5 raised to 3 is equal to 27 over 125. Letter D, quantity of 1 over 8 raised to 3 is equal to 1 over 512. So let's see the solution. In letter A, 5 raised to 3 is equal to 5 times 5 times 5, which is equal to 125. So letter A is a correct equation. In letter B, quantity of 0 0.7 raised to 3 is equal to the quantity of 0 0.7 times the quantity of 0 0.7 times the quantity of 0 0.7 is equal to 0 0.343. So letter B is a correct equation. In letter C, quantity of negative 3 over 5 raised to 3 is equal to the quantity of negative 3 over 5 times the quantity of negative 3 over 5 times the quantity of negative 3 over 5 is equal to negative 27 over 125. So letter C is not a correct equation. In letter D, quantity of 1 over 8 raised to 3 is equal to the quantity of 1 over 8 times the quantity of 1 over 8 times the quantity of 1 over 8 is equal to 1 over 512. So letter D is a correct equation. So the correct answer is letter C. So let's now talk about cube root. So in cube root, we need to remember the important function. So we need to remember this symbol. We will use this symbol in writing a cube root. So in cube root, 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. 
So, the cube root of 8 is 2. The cube root of 8 can be written as cube root of 8 and cube root of 8 is equal to 2. If a times a times a is equal to b, then cube root of b is equal to a. So let's answer this question. The question is, which one is cube root of 343? Letter A, positive negative cube root of 7. Letter B, positive and negative 7. Letter C, 7. And letter D, negative 7. Let's see the solution. Find the cube root of 343. So from 343, that is equal to 7 times 7 times 7. So cube root of 343 is equal to 7. Because if A times A times A is equal to B, then cube root of B is equal to A. So the answer is letter C. That's all for this video presentation. I hope you learned something. Thank you and goodbye. See you next time.